Hello and welcome to this video series on Amazon S3. In this video, I will introduce you to the videos in this series titled Amazon S3 How-To Videos, Your Guide to Mastering Amazon S3. Now this is Volume 1 in this series on Amazon Web Services, and Volume 2 and other future volumes will cover additional AWS or Amazon Web Services like CloudFront, SimpleDB, and, and others. Uh, plus, there will be additional videos or updates to the existing volumes as I have time to make them. So let's take a look at what's in Volume 1. In Video 1, you're going to learn about Amazon S3 what it is and how you can use it to save money and maintain a better relationship with your current as well as soon to be customers. Running time is a little over five and a half minutes. Video 2 How much does it cost? In this video we will cover the figuring of the cost of using the Amazon S3 service. Looking at the tables that Amazon provides regarding the charges, some people, myself being one of those people, can easily get confused by all the potential charges. This video will simplify things and hopefully remove the air of confusion and replace it with the sweet smell of savings. Running time is a little over 8 minutes long. Video 3 How to Set Up an S3 Account In this video, you will learn the steps involved in setting up your own Amazon S3 account. This will be rather straightforward and not difficult at all, but I will walk you through it anyway just to make sure we're off to a nice strong start. Running time is 7 minutes 47 seconds. Video 4. The next several videos will feature a third party free tool that will help you manage your Amazon S3 files. This tool is called Cloudberry Explorer. Cloudberry Explorer Freeware is a powerful Windows program that helps to manage all aspects of your Amazon S3 storage. CB Explorer is loaded with all kinds of goodies, also known as features, that make this free tool stand head and shoulders above the closest paid for competitor. This video will cover the installation and in-depth tour of the features of this cool tool. Running time of this video is 11 and a half minutes. In video 5, we will continue our look at Cloudberry Explorer. In the last video, we covered the installation and tour of the software functions. In this episode, we will show you the setup procedures to get the Cloudberry Explorer to work with your Amazon S3 account. Running time of this video is 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Video 6. This video will answer the burning question, what the heck is an Amazon S3 bucket? You will learn not only what a bucket is, but also how to make one within the Cloudberry Explorer, as well as a few other tidbits of information regarding your Amazon S3 buckets. This video is 10 minutes and 41 seconds long. Video 7. One more video in the Cloudberry Explorer segment of this video series. In this video, you will learn how to share. Share your Amazon S3 files with other S3 account holders, that is. So play nice and get ready to learn a whole new layer of functionality for your Amazon S3 account. This cool video is just over nine and a half minutes long. Video 8, Time Expiring URLs. This video will pull back the curtain on how to create your own expiring URLs using Cloudberry Explorer. In addition to creating the time expiring URLs, you'll also learn how they work and how to use them. For everyone that hands out digital download links, you need to watch this video. Running time here is 8 minutes and 22 seconds. In the next several videos, you will learn about the functions and features of another free third party tool for your Amazon S3 account. This one is called S3 Fox Organizer. See, this is a plug-in or an add-on for your Firefox web browser. If you have never used the Firefox browser, these videos will add more reasons as to why you should start right away. Video 9, S3 Fox Organizer. The free Firefox plugin for managing your Amazon S3 files is another fantastic program, and not just because of the cost, or lack thereof. In this video, we will go over the installation process and a walk around the program to show off some of its features. This video is just over 7 minutes long. Video 10. S3 Fox Organizer is feature packed as we showed you in the previous video. And it is easy to set up, as we will show you in this video. This video is 6 minutes and 43 seconds long.
Video 11. In this video, we are continuing to show off some of the features and functionality of S3 Fox Organizer. This time, you will learn how to create your Amazon S3 buckets using S3 Fox. You'll also learn how to add folders and files to your newly created buckets, as well as granting permissions for the whole world to see, access, and download your files, if you so choose. Running time for this video is 9.5 minutes. Video 12. Using S3 Fox Organizer is a great way to manage your files within your Amazon S3 account. In this video, you will learn how to share your buckets, folders, and files with other Amazon S3 account holders. After watching this video, you will more than likely see several possibilities on how this feature can work with and improve your particular business model. This video is 6 minutes. Video 13. This video on S3 Fox Organizer will show you how to save time and eliminate certain frustrations related to important files and folders on your computer. You will learn how to set up and complete quick backups or folder synchronizations with push button ease. This video is a must see. Running time on this video is 8 minutes. Video 14 time expiring URLs. In this video you will learn how to create your own expiring URLs using the Firefox S3 organizer. In addition to creating the time expiring URLs you'll also learn how they work, how to use them, and a powerful tip that will add another layer of security and functionality to your expiring URLs. For everyone that hands out digital download links this video is for you. Running time is nine and a half minutes. Video 15, your Amazon S3 logging details. This video will show you how to enable, monitor, and view the details and statistics within the logs of your Amazon S3 buckets. Now this is pretty dry and boring stuff for most people, but you might be surprised by how much and what type of information you can see inside these logs. This video is five and a half minutes. Video 16, how to stream videos from your S3 account. One of the main reasons some people use Amazon S3 is to store their video files so when people watch them the streaming videos will not bog down the rest of their website. In this video you're going to learn a couple of different ways to add streaming videos to your blog and or website. It's easy now once you know how. This video, the last in the series, is very detailed and is 14 minutes and 43 seconds long. This will bring us to the end of the introduction video for Amazon S3, Volume 1 of this video series on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for you to take action and download your copy of this video series.